welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Happy Groundhog Day. So that little sucker saw his shadow and hopped back in the hole, right? That's what I'm hearing. Six more weeks of winter, which if you think about it, it's always six more weeks of winter anyway. So there we go. Um, anyway, I just wanted to come on here today. I have, let's see, let me just tell you about my day yesterday. Um, I had a bad day yesterday. I'm human. I'm human. I do have bad days. Um, number one, I had, I don't know, I'd been feeling it coming on, just kind of a depression type, dark cloud, bad feeling type deal, and I just, like, I don't know. I just let it overtake me yesterday. I was supposed to have done videos, Dollar Tree hauls. I was supposed to have done things, cleaned. I did not do anything at all yesterday. And let me just say, from the moment I got up, I ate. I turned to my inter, inner, not inter, my inner glutton instead of my inner warrior. Let me just say that. That is what I did. I, right off the bat, as soon as I got up with my coffee, I had two dark chocolate candy bars, regular size, but still no intermittent fasting, no staying away from sugar. You know, I ate all day long. I was miserable all day long. And last night I had the restless legs again, which I hadn't had for a while. So <clears throat> I'm thinking it has something to do with food. Um, but anyway, yeah, I um, ordered from Gino's. I had a Publix. I had cottage cheese, which is, you know, something I would normally eat anyway. Um, I had the rest of that, um, that whole bowl of sugar-free whipped cream and sugar-free pudding that I made. I had the rest of that. So, well, I had given Jack a little bit, a little bowl of it, but I had the rest of that, which, you know, sugar-free still, but guys, <laughs> Yeah, I had a bad day, and, but today I'm fasting all day long. I'm fasting until tomorrow, so that's what it's going to be for me because I am, you know, that I, I've been having a lot of pain, like, and, and this has been going on for several years. Like, I get this inflammation, and it's like between my shoulder blades, but over to the left, right there and then it's like right in my armpit and right across through here and it's been going on for several years and they they just said it was like inflammation and they wanted me to take like four 800 milligram ibuprofens a day and I couldn't do that so sometimes it flares up and it had definitely been flaring up over the past week so I've been having really a lot of trouble sleeping because of that so anyway I just want to say I'm back on track today fasting all day long trying to maybe think and maybe this the fasting will help with this and just because i deserve to fast all day long because of my choices yesterday i was a bad girl but anyway um yeah having said that don't 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 follow that example don't fast all day long unless you clear it with your doctor i'm not clearing nothing with my doctor because i don't have a doctor but like i'm um, you know that it's just I, fa I used to do alternate day fasting which is every other day i would fast and i enjoyed that for a while and then it got kind of boring um but th so then i figured you know i started on just the regular intermittent fasting and i was doing like 16 8 but then i started on the alternate day which is my fave so not alternate day, my, one meal a day, which is my fave. Anyway, I'm here today. I'm in the parent pickup line, and I have been writing some stuff down in my wonderful little journal here, and I am trying to figure out ways to dig deep, find your inner warrior, okay? Because we all need her. We all need that inner warrior. Um, so I found this article and I found it on a website called buddhagroove.com, which is funny. Um, and for everyone out there that feels like they're at a standstill, you feel like, you know, you've been doing really good. You're not, you're not continuing to lose. You probably are losing if you're measuring yourself in inches, which I should have done at the beginning, but I just never do. 
Um, but for, if you feel like you're at a standstill, you have to change things up and do something a little different, which is, I'll, I'm going to get to that after I read to you guys what I wrote down here. Um, it's five ways to summon your inner warrior, and that is exactly what I want to do. So, my inner warrior has got to come out. She's got to be the one to battle for me because I just can't do it. Like, some days like yesterday, I needed to summon my inner warrior, and we all have one. She's inside of every single one of us, and yeah. So basically, I'm just going to read you this right here. Um, your soul has many archetypes, and an archetype is just an example of a person. And I don't mean to say that you have multiple personalities, but I'm just saying you may have multiple personalities and don't know it, but not in a bad way. Like you may have a personality, which is your inner warrior. And that's the one I want to bring to the surface. Okay. So basically, um, it says your soul has many archetypes in its soul DNA and some may present stronger than the other. So that's what I want. That strong inner self that is, is still me, but there's a stronger, stronger girl in here. Okay. Um, while we might be born naturally very strong in a certain archetype or a certain personality, others can be called in and cultivated. So if you're having trouble asserting yourself in life or currently facing an intimidating challenge like weight loss or any other areas of your life that you are in an intimidating challenge, maybe you're in a job where you have co-workers that are just beating you down, you know, that are just, you know, intimidating you. Um, maybe you're in a marriage where your husband is just intimidating and just awful to you. Whatever the situation is, and there's a lot of different examples I could use, um, you might want to get to know your inner warrior, okay? So that's what we're going to do here. And this, um, I mean, this has some great tips and I, and I love them, but I'm still going to, to do more research on finding inner strength as well. So, you know, because we need all the help we can get. I mean, if you're like me, I absolutely need all the help I can get. So, yeah. So here are five simple yet powerful steps for doing just that, okay? Number one, you have to create a mental image of your inner warrior. Um, what comes to mind when you hear the word warrior? For me, my mental image is, I'm gonna tell you what she looks like, okay? Uh, but it's still me. It's a me in a different image. You know what I'm saying? Like a different Maybe the way I want to see myself. I don't know. what It says, maybe a Native American warrior riding bareback into battle, a Viking, an ER nurse. You know, to everybody, this warrior is going to be different. An activist. How about a fictional character? Wonder Woman. What comes to mind when you hear the word warrior? Okay? So, what do you see? Is it tough, muscled up woman? Um, you know, th this is what I see. Me. Me. As a tough, muscles, you know, fit, crazy, long, wild, gorgeous hair, wild war paint, like I can just, you know, I would just love to war paint myself up and make a vision of my inner warrior and take a picture, you know, and just have that to where, where I'll know. Um, let's see here. Maybe, you know, the war paint, a humongous sword in my hand, you know, to battle off all of the, that negativity. She will mess you up, okay? <laughs> Look at her. She will mess you up. Can you just picture, just like, you know, maybe even on, on bareback, you know, just a wild warrior, war paint, you know, just maybe even a headband. I don't know. Like, that is just what I see. When I think of my inner warrior, that's what she looks like. So, number one, you have to figure out what your inner warrior looks like. You know, what does she look like? And let me know. Like, let me know in the comments. Like, if you figure out what your inner warrior looks like, let me know. Because I want to know what you guys' vision of your inner warrior is. So once you know what she looks like, she's easier to bring to life, okay? Um, number two, 
Decide how you would describe your inner warrior. Fearless, invincible, badass, sorry for the cussing, um, courageous. Whatever your situation, find five adjectives to describe your inner warrior. Now, I'm going to tell you my five. Fearless, fighter, powerful, dangerous, don't mess, dangerous, and brave, super brave. So that's the five adjectives that I am using to describe my inner warrior. And those are all, you know, pretty awesome. Um, number three, this is this one I love. Give your inner warrior a theme song. We all need one. And you know, the guys, they'll, they'll do things like Eye of the Tiger and stuff like that. But I want you to make an inner warrior playlist of at least 10 songs. I couldn't pick just 10. I picked 12 songs. I'm going to tell you the name of the songs and who sings them. And then, um, you know, just just because a lot of times, if you're, whatever you're doing, if I'm cleaning, I've got music on. I love listening to music when I'm cleaning um, and just, you know, go to town. It helps me to work. It helps me to do better. Let me turn on a little heat because I'm freezing. Um, but it just helps me to listen to warrior songs, you know? I mean, to me, like, it, it's, I don't know. Let me give you my, my 12 songs, okay? Um, number one, Stronger by Britney Spears. I love Britney Spears, always have. Stronger by Britney Spears. Number two, Fight Song. That is, I mean, it says it. It says it right there. It's a fight song, and it is. I love it. Um, that's by Rachel Platten. Number three, Roar by Katy Perry. Roar, I love that song. I love all of these songs. Number four, Stronger Again by Different. Um, Kelly Clarkson, Stronger. Two of mine is named Stronger. I love it. Um, number five, Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. I love that song. Number six, Confident by Demi Lovato. Love that song. Number seven, Girl by Maren Morris. Awesome song. Number eight, Survivor by Destiny's Child. Yes. Number nine, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. I love that song. I love all these songs. I just keep saying that. Number 10, Me Too by Megan Trainer. Number 11, these are the two, like I was laying in bed last night, not able to sleep, and these songs entered my mind, and I'm like, I've honestly got to put these on my playlist for the, you know, for my fight songs. Um, number 11 is Unstoppable by Sia. That song rocks. I mean, it says it all. And number 12, I couldn't leave pink out. I love pink, just like fire. So that is my my fight songs. That's my playlist of fight songs. 12 fight songs that I absolutely love that will totally give you inner strength and confidence to get the job done. No matter what the job is, you can do it. I plan on making me a playlist, working out, like whenever I go walking and stuff, I'm going to wear my headphones. I'm going to listen to these songs and I am just going to meditate on my self inner warrior. My, not my self inner warrior, just my inner warrior. Okay. Number four, here we go. Um, it's almost time for the kids to come out. So I'm gonna have to rush it up. Get clear on what type of warrior you are. Um, and, and different, there's different warriors. There's different inner warriors. You know, there's the inner warrior that is saving people, you know, in the, you, in the, um, ER and stuff like that. Are you an action hero warrior, a love warrior, a peace warrior? Are you bringing love? Are you bringing peace to people? Are you somebody that is, um, like trying to make sure nobody's lonely? Are you a person that takes care packages to people in hospice or, in you know getting chemotherapy or what what are you what are you what is your what is the thing that you want to do personally i had a little trouble with this one because my inner warrior right now is about helping me to get through this 
life, you know, and, and sometimes days are rough, and that's when I want to summon my inner warrior, and I don't mean summon like some kind of witchy thing, I just mean like bring her out, you know, whenever I need her, bring her out, um, so yeah, is, are you a rebel warrior, what are you, what are you, and then number five, it just says practice asking yourself when you are in tough situations, what would your inner warrior do, like what what would she do? You know, if you wake up and you are in a really bad mood and you are angry and you just want to take it out on the world and you just want to eat everything in sight, which was me yesterday, um, what would your inner warrior do? Like, what would she do? So just remember all of these things. Let me know, like, let me know one of your fight songs. Let me know how you describe your inner warrior. Just uh, leave things in the comments, guys. Let's look at each other's inner warriors and what you are going to do with your inner warrior. And I will do definitely more, um, more of these, you know, finding your inner strength, your inner power and stuff like that. Because I feel like stuff like that helps all of us. Because some days, guys, some days, some days are bad. And even if you have the perfect life, some days are bad bad. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you guys. I won't be showing y'all what I'm eating today because I'm not eating. I am, however, going to drink my apple cider vinegar, um, which I used to do as well. I'm going to be making my family chicken tortellini salad and garlic bread, and I'm not going to eat. I'm going to drink my vinegar at that time. I'm drinking a water. I've got electrolyte water here that I get from Walmart. It is just... Um, it's just called Hydrate Electrolyte Water. It's pH balance water with electrolytes for taste. So I always feel like whenever I am doing an alternate day fast that I do like to throw in some electrolyte water, but not necessarily electrolytes. And like nothing that's going to break my fast or anything like that. But I got a six pack of these at Walmart and I'm just going to be working on those today so I don't get any cramps or anything. But I just wanted to go over that with you guys. If I, thought, if I figure out anything later to go over with you guys, I'll let you know. I'll come back on here. But until, you know, if I don't, you know, this this will be it. But yeah, please comment. Comment, guys. Let me know about your inner warrior because I want to know. Let me know if you found this helpful any at all. And yeah, so my, my weigh-in day is day after tomorrow. After yesterday, and then like I had been getting on the scales a couple of times during the week, they weren't moving, which was affecting my thinking, my thoughts, my positivity. It was kind of bringing me down. Even though I've been trying my best to prepare myself for this, I, it just was like, it, I just wasn't prepared. That's why I want to find my inner warrior because next time I'm going to be prepared. So I just, you know, just, I don't know. So when I weigh myself Friday, I want to be prepared that I may not have a loss. Um, and just like last time, I gained a pound, was it? I don't want that, you know? I, this is all about losing, when you're only eating one meal a day, you know, trying to keep your motivation levels up for that. And let me just say with that, I know because of last week and then of this week, you know, not losing, I know that I need to change something up. So I'm gonna make a promise to myself and I'm gonna include my inner warrior on this and we are gonna walk at least twice a week. I'm not going to say every day because I know I won't do it. And then when I don't follow through, like with a day, then I'll be hard on myself and I'll be wanting to give up. So I'm not going to go overboard on that. I can manage twice a week. And I, I feel like that is a very reasonable goal for somebody that's not been exercising. So I will manage twice a week to walk. And then maybe that is going to help me um, be able to... Um, um, what I forgot what I was saying. I thought that teacher was coming to the car. <clears throat> that helped me to be able to break that plateau because those plateaus are hard on you mentally. They are so hard mentally. So find your inner warrior. If you're at a plateau, make yourself a promise to do something different and follow through. Let me know in the comments. And until next time, guys, bye.